So, it's my birthday week, and after I got an email for a couple of weeks from some plant shop hyping me up for a birthday surprise, which I thought was going to be a free plant and turned out to be only 20% off coupon, I was like, you know what? I want plants for my birthday. I want to I wanna see plants for my birthday. Now, it's January, and I don't have a house, so it's gonna be an in I mean I don't have a yard so it's gonna be an indoor house plant or a plant that I feel I could keep indoors but anyway let's get to it just came in this is, there's something I want over here oh sense of area uh is that as easy Oh no. Oh no, we're looking for cheapo five dollar plants today. Oh no. Yeah, this portion was not in the usual plant section that you expect. I have to think it's on the other side to go. This is nice though. Oh, this is nice. But it's too much because the other one was 15. How much is this? Oh no. So there's the allocation. I'm gonna tuck back in for now. Cause I don't see another one. I don't see another one anywhere. I don't have the sunlight for succulents. I mean, unless they're willing to struggle, which some of them might be. It's actually how I found my Letiboria. I'm gonna go around carrying this. I wanna say this is a Peperomia, but I'm not entirely sure. But it's only $4, um, and it says part shade. So I think maybe I could make it work. I'm not sure. We're gonna we're gonna hold on to this. Someone tucked this away. Maybe they thought they were gonna come back to it. Um, this new jewels maybe. Oh, they're flowering. Bro, they're so pretty. Uh, but I've never had this one, and you always die. Oh, look at all the flowers. You always die in my house that I don't have the sun. Damn it. Uh, you see, they have the succulents from Succulent Society, which I love. Again, this wife from my Letiboria for three dollars a pop. And that's how they get you. Oh my gosh, what's that? Mm, is that a Gasteria? Is that what that is? I don't know. I just don't have enough sun for all the succulents I would want to get. And the ones that might survive, I don't want. <laughs> and they're trying to be slick by putting the mini... Ooh, what's this? <laughs> by putting the mini, um... Something I don't have the sunlight for, I'm sure. Like a little jade looking thing. By putting the mini orchids over here. But we know you're like $16 a pop, so don't even try. Don't even try it. Just go back to your spot. I'm not going to get my marmalaria because I either overwater them and they don't get enough sun. There has to be another another plant section here. It can't just be this and the other side. What's that over there? What's that over there? Aha. I think I figured out my phone. So I want this peperomia. Look at this green. Look at this little variation. They have another variegated one. It's like a white and green variation. I'm not sure I want that one. Do I get one of these? Do I get it at all? If I want it... I don't know, I feel like this is not, if it's not the it's is something else and it's gonna be really obvious when I fi go home and find out what it is, but it looks so lush. Like, I must have it. I really want it. Gosh. Why are y'all out here getting euphorbias? Why are y'all out here getting spurgy? It doesn't make any sense. I don't, I would, you know, if they had an orchid that wasn't a fowl, maybe I'd go nuts. But they only have fowls here in this in this eastern seaboard. They don't, what is this? This looks like an onion. Honestly, this looks like I don't even know what this is. It's five dollars for what looks like an onion. It's unlabeled, but looks like an onion. <sighs> is it a bulb plant underneath? If I knew what it was, maybe I'd be interested. Like, wow. This looks really interesting. This also looks like it requires a bunch of light. <sighs> Like, I have to go to Succulent Society and then scour. Like, I can't, I don't have time to do that in the Home Depot. Come on. I did a quick search on SucculentSociety.com uh, to figure out what this is. Um, I'm thinking it's a Haworthia now, but apparently they also sell Peperomia, so maybe I can find the Peperomia that I want. Uh, there's two varieties of Peperomia. Marcel, Marcelata or something is what I want. It's, like, smaller. At least per the picture. I'm gonna see if they have that. I doubt they do, but... Let's try. I came all the way out here. Let me at least look. It's a Peperomia Marcello. I mean, just look at these bitches. And they're so huge. Like, if I had the sunlight, 
Because you don't even know. You don't. You don't even you don't even know, and that's like five dollars probably. You don't even know. Uh, those giant plants again. The sun. Or do I have the light for that? Or do I have the light for that? Do I have the light for this? I'm pretty sure I have. This is a Hawarthia and aloe. I'm pretty sure I have something like this at home. How much is this? Is there, these are huge, my guy. They're 12 centimeters. I don't see a price listed. Ugh, I don't want a price check. This is too much to be looking for price checks. But they're so huge. And I've also, do I want a huge plant die like this? But also, don't these big box stores throw out plants all the time? Like, because they don't pay attention to them. So maybe I should. But I really shouldn't. <laughs> We're gonna look. Wild though is that I did just say the other day that I wanted a mini fowl. And these are mini. But what's the price? <sighs> I don't need more succulents in my life. And this. <sighs> it's so nice and rigid though. Oh my gosh, they're so big and lovely. And they need someone to love them. I could be that somebody. I would be that someone if I had the space. But I don't. Not even the space to light. Gosh. Honestly, this is the worst because apparently <laughs> the variety is also there. It's an alocasia poly. And first thing I look, it says full to partial shade. I could do that. I could really do that. <laughs> but how much is it? I didn't come here to spend all of my plant budget um, on one plant. I don't have a large plant budget, you know. It's just casual. If there's a plant, I pick one. If there's not, I saw plants. Why are the plants so expensive? Because it's January. Damn it. I put back the succulent. Right now I'm just hovering this peperomia. And maybe I get this, but I have to carry it back in a bag and it's like cold. Did I have another one? I need, to, I need to find a plant check. I need to find a cart because I'm doing too much right now. Um, I found a, a, what looks like a Dracaena Janet Craig. I had one a while ago. And when you move, plants stay, so it stayed. Um, do I get one now? Again, I still don't know how much this is, and like, I feel like $9 at most is what I would want to pay for it because I've seen this plant for that price, so I can either wait until I see it again for that price later on, or I can get it now and be happy now. But again, where am I going to put this? Does it matter? Not really. Um, the other variation, not really grabbing me. I like my deeper greens. This leaf is ripped, but it's the only one here. Do I have time to go to another Home Depot? I do. It's just gonna be dark. Apparently it's $15. I think the condition it's in, my lack of feeling secure and my ability to grow it, I'd rather try and grow like a bulb at home and have it acclimate than have to buy this, have it drop all this soup. I'm seeing online that it's a fussy plant apparently, but it's so pretty. I'm just gonna get a peperomia and see if I can stop at another plant store. And this will do. Yeah. Get this. I'm gonna see if I can try and rush another plant store because I meant to today. That's what the whole day is about. Um, hopefully it'll do well at home and we'll see. So, um, I just got the one plant for five. I might really regret eventually um, not getting the allocation poly. But I think I'm okay for now. Um, in another month or so, there'll be a lot more offering. I might, I don't know if I'll try and rush to another Home Depot or like a shop right, because there's a shop right by me. I tend to have a large plant selection. Um, but we'll see. If not, this was, you know, one plant was worth it. So I guess. So yeah. Okay. So you might see that, and I, and I heard it when it, in, the, in my bag when it happened, this broke in half. I think that's the only one that looks like it. Looks like that's the only one that broke. Um, I don't think any of the stems. Or crunched or anything look at this look at this look at this coloring oh my gosh it's so beautiful you're so beautiful you're so pretty you're so pretty you're so pretty I just put some more water in it because it was dry no big surprise there um, it was dry so I put some water in it. it's gonna have to stay in this pot for a little while uh, whether it's rebound or not um, but <sighs> I'm just gonna take this there we go there we go. Plant heal thyself. No. Um, so it's so pretty.
So I used to have a couple of plants in here. There, at some point, there was a bromeliad in there, and then that held this skeleton. It's a glow-in-the-dark thing, but, you know, now it has water. The thing is all bubbled up, whatever. So I'm going to put this, let's see, will you fit in here for now? Yeah. Uh, it'll probably get a good amount of light here. No. What is this? Oh, it's just dirt. Um, good amount of light here. And it's away from any of the other plants. So it's like semi-quarantine? Yeah. We'll go with that. Mm -hmm. There are the other plants in this corner. Um, my heart-shaped philodendron, Melitoborea, which this time last year was flowering. But that's fine. We went through some things, didn't we? You know, we're shocked. I know you're hella root bound. Um, but now, you know, it's just a little green space and hopefully we'll see if I get some more plants. Um, you know, for however I'm treating myself. You see, I already put some water in. Look, look how it's perking up already. It's perking up already. I see you. I love you. I love you. <laughs>